Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a wallet. Um, I'm going to be looking at a number of sort of EDC and pocket carry items over the next uh, little while uh, and I thought I'd start out with this Bellroy uh, Slim Sleeve wallet. Uh, so this is described by Bellroy as a super slim design to reduce pocket bulk uh, and I think that's a pretty decent uh, way of describing or like suggesting this wallet. So Bellroy is an Australian uh, company based here in Melbourne where I'm based uh, and they make a range of sort of like little leather products and bags and pencil cases and all of those sorts of uh, items include and then up to things like you know sort of uh, zippered folios and those sorts of products this is as i said the slim sleeve um, now this retails for around 99 australian dollars uh, and bellroy are available uh, internationally of course as well and through places like amazon as well as other retailers so this wallet is made of um, leather uh, and it is in uh, environmentally certified leather which is really important um you know like the, if you're going to have an animal product i think like if there's some sort of um qualification on that i think it's actually really important so this wallet comes with a three-year warranty uh and it's said to hold four to twelve cards so uh, i'm just going to have a look at it i'm going to show you the features and then we'll talk about some pros and cons and stuff so the wallet comes in a range of colors black uh, this is the grey or charcoal version. Uh, navy, marine blue, racing green, java, uh, red earth, indigo, tan and cocoa. Uh, and each comes with a sort of a contrasting colour there on the inside, uh, which is cool. Um, so yeah, so this is the grey charcoal and it comes with an orange uh, internal accent. Holds, as I said, four to 12 cards. We'll go into that in a second. Um, it measures 95 millimeters by 80 millimeters. Um, so it's quite a small wallet as well, which is quite nice. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's slim and it's comfortable. Uh, and that is sort of the, the basics of the wallet in those sorts of terms. This is what uh, the label that comes on the, uh, on the wallet. Um, and it gives you some information if you want to, you know, pause it and have a look. You can have a quick little read. But yeah, it says like, you know, quick slots and then uh, infrequently used cards go down the side. It talks a little bit about the leather. Bellroy's premium environmentally certified leather is vegetable tan uh, and then dyed through. Uh, this helps the shape, help helps it shape to how you use it and age more gracefully than surface painted leathers. So it's, yeah, it says it's got a good warranty and it gives all the information there. And they call it their nude approach where they have as little in the wallet as possible. So uh, zips, nothing like that, you know, uh, and as, as few layers of leather, which helps achieve that very nice slim profile. So I have been carrying this wallet for the last three months. So I got this um, in March and it's now June. Uh, and uh, it's been in my, like, yes, granted, due to the COVID, um, you know, sort of restrictions, I have been out less than I normally would, but still going out, you know, having to, you know, sort of go shopping and all of those sorts of things, all the essential stuff we have to do. And this wallet has been with me every day uh, in my pocket, in my, you know, in my bag, uh, tossed around a bit. Um, just to see sort of how it holds up. Uh, in fact, on the Bellroy website and social media, you can see a range of uh, things where they show the uh, how the wallet looks after a number of years. Um, I think a thousand days, I think it is. So let's look on the inside. As I said, there are these two slots, which they call their quick access slots. Now I've replaced all the cards with sort of more generic -y sort of cards, not my, not my credit cards or license or anything like that. Uh, but it's got these two slots on the inside there the quick access ones then a place for your infrequently used cards and then a place for notes and they do say that australian notes uh, and us notes fit with a single fold um, or you could do a triple fold if you want to and bigger notes uh, would fit so that's a double fold and then if you want to do it like a you know a triple fold um, you could put it down in there like that um, without any worries if you had bigger notes like some of those european notes and things like that that are a little bit larger um, so, so I can't, I don't, like, 
these obviously are not the exact cards that I carry, but it gives it a good example of sort of the amount of what it can hold, uh, and also sort of like, you know, the sort of basic sort of size of the wallet as well. So I've put two cards down in this uh, slot, in these slots, uh, and two fit quite comfortably. I probably wouldn't stretch it beyond two. Um, and at the moment, I've got five cards uh, in this back slot, um, which uh, is probably, once again, as much as I would push it. So that's nine. Um, so in that, I, I would be saying stretching it to 12 might be a stretch, but then again, it is leather. So it will sort of conform a little bit and, and stretch out if you, you know, slowly sort of work that in. One feature of the wallet is this little strap on the back here uh, for easy access to the cards that are in this slot. So you pull that up, you have easy access to them, and when you push it back down, the slot, the, the tab goes down with it. And you are labeled with Bellroy there on that little strap, as well as Bellroy, of course, on the front. Now the stitching for that strap does come through on the back there. That's the that's what holds that strap in place. Uh, and I don't mind that, but like, it also like that nice plain front uh, and the plain back there would be nice. And you do get the profile of that strap coming through because it is leather, of course, and it sort of works to the shape of what's in and around it. Now the stitching of this wallet is really nice like it's machine stitched and all of that um but as you can see it's sort of it's nice and uniform it's well it's well shaped um and it is slim leather like that is you know uh so you are you are cutting down on bulk because of that and because of that sort of slim nature of it it is going to be um a little less uh, or a little more pliable as well so um when they say that it's vegetable tanned so that it, you know, and dry, dyed all the way through, what that means is when the wallet scuffs a little bit, you're not, like, seeing anything underneath. It's not because it's painted. You're actually still getting the same sort of colour profile right? because a leather wallet is going to pick up little scratches and nicks and things like that. So over time, you are going to have this sort of more personalised look to any leather wallet um, or any leather product at all, uh, but you do because it is dyed through you're not going to get like big chunks of white or um, cream sort of coming through that sort of natural tan color so you can see on all the joints it's still holding up really really well so as i said this is three months of use um, and there's a little bit of wear uh, and there's a couple of points where like the stitching is just a tiny bit off um, but nothing that like a you know like a little lighter or whatever couldn't you know fix um, so as I said, it's well made, it's slim profile, it's well thought out. It's a minimalist wallet without being, you know, one of these like elastic band around a, a metal card sort of minimalist, um, which I'm quite happy with. I do like sort of, you know, leather products and I do like products that are, um, you know, sort of minimalist, but without going overboard on that. Um, I think of some like the Travex wallets and things like that. They look great. They're they're minimalist, but they've got sort of like a nice sort of charm to them and a and a you know sort of a, a good a good thought out design. And Belroy do the exact same thing. Belroy have a range of of wallets, um, different sort of styles of minimalist wallet, uh, and I think that they're really interesting and really well made. Um, so let's talk some pros and cons now that I've given you sort of the specs and I've shown you what it can hold and how it holds and you know how it holds up to being used and this is as I said, after three months and after you know another three six nine going on into the future this wallet will wear and it will sort of patina and tan uh, like that uh, will sort of like get worn in which is nice um so but after three months you can see it's holding up really really well and uh it's that real leather that's actually going to hold this give this a, a really nice sort of lifetime as they give it a three-year warranty so they they do stand behind the product so let's talk pros and cons. Cons, it is small. Now that is a pro and a con. Um, the size, of course, being a, a big a big pro. Um, but the, uh, you know, like the, um, it's, you know, you're not going to fit a whole lot in this. So if you're one of these people that carries a lot of cards, uh, a lot of, you know, cash or anything else in their wallet they, they like to carry, this may not be the wallet for you. Uh, as I said, nine cards is about as far as I would personally take it. And of course, if you could get it down even slimmer than that, then you're probably going to end up with, um, once again, sort of a more longevity on the product as well. Uh, less stress on the, on the stitching, like on these pockets and things like that. Um, it's made, as you can probably see, it's made from like, you know, the, the, that, this, 
behind the pockets here is the same piece of leather as the front. So it's been very cleverly thought out. It's not just like more layers and layers and layers sewed on top. Um, but it is, you know, you, the more you put in there, the more stress it's going to put on the wallet, of course. Um, you can't fit odd size cards like there's a couple of like loyalty cards for instance that you would probably sometimes carry that are slightly different shape they're not necessarily going to fit in here um, and larger notes become problematic as i said you need to do a trifold or something like that there are um, only a couple of slots in here really uh, so if you've got you know access card, lots of cards you like to have access to once again maybe think of something a little uh, a little larger uh, and also there's no co nowhere for coins which so they have to live in your pocket or in another pouch or something like that. Um, the pros are, are really great with this. It's a beautifully made wallet um, and the nice and it is really nice leather. It's good quality leather. It's you know well machined and it's well sort of uh, you know prepared if you will. Um, it's because of its size front you know, or back pocket carry are both really possible. I carry this generally in my back pocket, uh, but when I have to move it to my front pocket for whatever reason, it doesn't give, you know, it doesn't like give you a weird pocket profile or anything uh, either because it is nice and slim. Uh, and that slim profile actually sort of helps uh, both protect the wallet as well because like it's bumping into less things, it's sort of getting less in the way. Um, it's nice and soft, like, you know, the leather is quite pliable, um, and it is going to adjust, you know, to, uh, or expand to the things that you put in there, like, you probably could stretch these to three cards after a while, maybe that to an extra couple if you wanted to, but I, for me, this is probably as far as I, as I said, I would take it is five, two, and two. Um, uh, and yeah, like that little, that little strap feature, a uh, nice little feature, like, it does help you get access to those cards, not that, like, pulling cards out of a, a pocket like this is impossible without with without the strap um you know but it's nice to have that strap as an option particularly if things get a bit tight in there um or if you just want sort of a nice sort of easy access to the cards boom you know it's good um it's a nice little feature uh, is it necessary probably not but it is a nice feature nonetheless so this is the bellroy slim sleeve wallet uh in the charcoal color um like Really nice, simple wallet, good range of colors, uh, fairly decently priced for a leather product. Um, you know, not a lot to complain about really, and it's a beautifully made product, So, and I like it a lot. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce, and please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. If there are products you think I should be looking at, or a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, Enjoy your gear, enjoy your wallets, and let me know what you use, and I'll talk to you soon.